Hello, pet parents. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Product. Now, I know we all have those times where we can't be with our pets and we're looking for something to do, a safe place to leave them with, someone that we can trust. Well, our next guest here has helped those folks and developed some really important programs. I want to welcome Charlotte Biggs from IBPSA. Boy, that is a lot to say. Now, first off, explain to the folks what IBPSA does and how it benefits them. Rob, IBPSA is the International Boarding and Pet Services Association. What it does is it provides education and information to folks who own and operate pet care facilities. It could be boarding, dog daycare, grooming salons, that sort of thing. And so we have the education and information available to them to help them educate themselves, their staff, um, and, and have that, that information applied to the care of the pets in their care. Well, it's so important because we're all looking for safety. We're looking, and I've gone through the materials, the wonderful information there. Yes. Now, let's talk about how you interact with these folks because this is something they can learn from wherever they are. They can still run their business. Talk a little bit about how they participate in the program. IBPSA is um, a fully uh, web-based um, digital program. The educational courses are available 24-7. Uh, to the staff that want that are going to be go through the training program, they are uh, taught online, they're tested online, and then certification is provided to them once they've passed that educational component. So it makes it available to them wherever they are. We are truly international, so outside the boundaries of the United States, but wherever anyone is, in search of education and information to improve their skill set in providing care for the pets. Now, this is great for because me as a pet parent, when I have to take Sugar and Zoe and leave them at a facility to be cared for, there are a lot of things I'm looking for. How am I going to know if someone has gone through your training? They're going to have the logo of IBPSA on their door and then a certificate for each employee or staff member that has completed a, a, a certification program um, is sent to them. Most uh, business owners will frame that and put that up on what they call a, a, wall, a wall of fame or honor uh, sure. to, to let the pet owning uh, customers know that our staff are educated. Oftentimes they'll put it on their website that we are a member of IBPSA, our staff are trained in the uh, IBPSA provided education uh, and certification courses. So look on the website and look on the walls inside this yeah, I mean, really important for me as a pet parent, I want to make sure that Sugar and Zoe, if I can't be watching over them or a family member can't be doing it, I want to know that the people doing it are responsible, they're knowledgeable. Now, you have a variety of classes as well. Let's talk about those for a minute. The classes that we have range from a basic care of feline or canine care, which addresses the just the basic uh, breed, uh, medical uh, physiology, anatomy, that sort of thing. So basic care of a pet, nutritional needs and that, right to the advanced uh, level. And there are ca uh, canine and, and feline advanced courses that uh, uh, deal with the more challenging needs of a pet as they grow older, geriatric, some are special needs, they have um, uh, diseases just like we do as people, epilepsy, diabetes, and that sort of thing. So you start to go into a, a knowledge base of, of special care, if you would. So we have that. We also have safety programs. Um, safety programs not just in how to be safe and, and watch a pet that's out in the extreme heat or if it's extremely cold, but also safety programs for the staff themselves to ensure that they know how to approach a pet, not get bet, not, uh, bit, not um, uh, stress a pet, and, and that level of information that they're trained on as well. Then there's also safety programs because our courses are directed at a good, solid business on um, how to evacuate pets in the case of an emergency and do that well and do that safely and completely. Um, safety programs for the staff themselves because we care about the staff that are caring for your pet. Uh, that they don't slip and fall um, uh, off of a ladder or, or on wet floors in, in, in that. Pretty comprehensive. It's very comprehensive. It's, it's, it's very comprehensive. And that's important because you know, we don't have one standardized body. So it's nice to know that you're out there doing this. I want to make sure the folks know where they can get more information about what you all are doing, those who want to get involved, how they do that. So let's share that information. You can find I International Boarding Pet Service Association at www.i.com. B P S A dot com. 
and that will give you all the information if you're a facility owner, operator, manager about the courses that are available and if you're a pet parent it will give you information on things to look for and ask when you take your pet into a facility um, about their, their standards and what education they've been through. IBPSA.com, go check it out folks. Thank you so much for all that you and IBPSA are doing. We really appreciate it. Thank you, I appreciate it.